Keep warm this weekend. Now let's look at the political week that was. The former Speaker of the National Assembly resigned and appeared in court uh, that was in quick succession on charges of corruption. The IEC asked those parties to pledge to uphold a code of conduct ahead of the elections. And President Cyril Ramaphosa has appointed a task team to deal with the destruction of Durban Port. To discuss, we're joined by political analyst Justice Malala. Justice, great to have you with us. It was a big week for the ANC that is facing possibly its biggest, toughest election this year. Now that the former speaker, Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula, is out in the cold politically, I mean, she wasn't even on the list and she's out of parliament, do you think it'll have any impact? Oh, I think the impact has been had, Francis. Thank you for having me, by the way. Um, the, the impact is that you saw a senior ANC leader um, a veteran of the of the organization essentially saying I'm above the law don't send me to jail don't investigate me don't come and arrest me to the law enforcement agencies and so you had this extraordinary week and a half where Mapisa Nukula was um, daring the law enforcement agencies saying um, um, don't do this to me don't do that to me and they had to essentially bag her to say, look, we've given you a chance to to come to uh, the police station. Let us put the uh, uh, charges before you, and then let's go to court. Don't don't do this in an undignified way. So yeah. the ANC, the optics are, are pretty bad, and they are that in the ANC, among its leaders, it's essentially the law is for everyone else, for Francis and Justice, but it's not for the leaders of this organization. So I think the ANC is taking a, a